In a deal that is highly beneficial to both sides, Korea and China decided earlier this year to expand cooperation in joint movie production. Now, what is so exciting about this agreement is that approved films can be officially classified as local films in both countries, meaning Korean movies could more actively reach out to the audience of the world's most populous country. Park Ji-won has the story. A wedding invitation is a film co-produced by Korea and China, released last year. This romantic comedy made a huge splash in China, earning some 36 million U.S. dollars, 10 times more than the film's production cost. The film's Korean director Oh gi hwan says he changed the film's scenario many times to make it appeal to Chinese viewers. At first, I tried to remake my previous film, A Gift, but then I realized that the Chinese viewers didn't quite get some parts of the original script due to cultural differences. So I've rewritten almost everything with three Chinese scenario writers. He says it's not easy to strike the right balance between both Korean and Chinese elements in one film, but says tapping into China's fast-growing market is certainly a risk worth taking. There are forecasts that by 2017, the Chinese film market will be bigger than Hollywood. So it's a challenge that is worth trying. China raked in some 3.6 billion U.S. dollars in box office revenue last year, making it the world's second largest market, growing around 30 percent annually. And over the next decade, the gap between the Korean and Chinese movie markets will only grow larger. The two countries signed a groundbreaking film co-production pact in July that opened a door of opportunities for Korean filmmakers. But before then, it was difficult to break the wall of China's strict film import quota system. Due to the film import quota, only about 70 foreign films got the chance to release in China, and half of those spots were taken by Hollywood films. That's why this co-production pact is important, because it helps Korean-Chinese co-productions be recognized as homegrown films. Another encouraging development for film creators from both countries is a joint investment fund worth nearly 200 million U.S. dollars, which will be set up next year for co-production projects. Both countries share a common goal of stimulating their content's markets through the active exchange facilitated by the joint fund. The joint film projects are shaping up to be a win-win strategy, allowing seasoned Korean filmmakers to test their creations in a bigger market, while China can gain from Korea's production experience and expertise. Park Ji-won, Arirang News.